Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys I have got a spider coal and this is a spider coal ladybug 3. I got this from Heine Haynes and it is now subsequently on back order. <laughs> Either I got the last one or somebody else likes them too. So this is, like I said, the Ladybug 3, and the box is like any other Spyderco box, slides in and out. The only difference being is the this one here, there might be others like it, however the ones that I've had uh, haven't said made in Japan. So this one is obviously by Spyderco in Colorado USA however it is made in Japan so I have been a bit dubious on the quality I have opened it up unfortunately and had a little check myself but I wanted to do it just for you guys so in the box you get obviously in a knife and your regular paperwork your squidgy bits and there's the paperwork of it lovely stuff a ladybug family in there I'll just put this away so here we have the knife comes in a nice bubble wrap baggie this time and here we have it so this was bought for my partner and I wanted to get her something small, something she could use uh, around the house and for, uh, sometimes she does work from home, so I bought that for her to use uh, while she worked from home and around the house. And I thought I'd get her something nice, something decent that's going to last a while, I was hoping. So I thought Spyderco would be a good option. And here is the result. And now it's on the mat. It's quite small, so roughly looking at the size wise, it's about the size of my thumb, as you can see. So let's have a look. Here we have it. Give you a brief round view. It's just on the inside there. And the top. There we go. So still designed by Sal. Good stuff. Love his designs. Love most of uh, most well all of his designs in fact. So what we will do, we'll start off with the scales, and uh, the colour is purple. For uh, everybody who doesn't know what purple is, that's purple, and they are F R N. As you can see here now I did have one gripe with these when I did open it up because for the price of this it seems uh, half assed if I if I dare say it because I don't know whether it's because it's made in uh, Japan however usually stuff made in Japan is very very good very very high quality so I'm not quite sure on that one. I mean, you get your standard lanyard hole in there, like so. Pop it on a key ring or a lanyard. But one gripe I had is, can you see just in here? It might be hard to tell. However, that's not flush. Just that end bit there. It's just not, doesn't sit right. I don't know if we can see that. It just looks like it's where it's come out of the casting. It just doesn't sit flat. It's all off on the right hand side up here. It just goes up like a little ledge. Just try and get a bit of view. Yeah, there you go. So, I don't know. And then 
the other gripe I had with it was this, the hole that's been uh, drilled out. It is not like my other Spydercos where it's uh, it's a nice it's a nice ring, nice hole to uh, open up. But this one, as you can see already in there, it's actually taking off my uh, my thumb skin. So it's uh, it's good in a way. It's good in a way. So when you do open it like so, it does catch it. It catches it and holds onto your skin and takes it off while you open it. That's the other gripe I had with it. But those are the only two. Um, I mean, it's FRN. My other, uh, some of my other Spydercos are FRN and they cost a little bit more than this. But they didn't have, uh, didn't have the moulding issue. I mean, I'd probably sort that with a little bit of... Um, a little other blade on there it's just me being picky me being picky because it's not for me so i just oh i mean other people probably won't it won't matter but to me it's just it's just me and whilst we're at it we'll just have a look at the centering which looks absolutely dead on so that is perfect eh? fine and uh, I don't know if I told you the price. The price of this is coming in at a lovely £53.95. So for me, that is quite a high price. And I know many other uh, blades and other manufacturers that do an absolutely sterling job for much less of a price. And... I think the quality is better overall on the on this particular one not all spider codes i'm not saying that just this particular one that i have in my hand maybe it's an issue with the ladybugs maybe it's an issue with where they're making it i'm i'm not sure i'm just speculatively speaking so don't hold me to that and the carry style unfortunately is just keyring or in your pocket loose no clip on there and the steel is coming in at VG10 as you can see so it is a really good steel so I guess that's what you're paying for for the um, for the 50 50 odd quid is mostly the steel I, I would say the steel and the design as in Sal's design which I absolutely love that's probably what you're paying for on that one but i love it i love it with those obviously those little gripes there but hopefully she's going to enjoy using it and time will tell whether it's any good you know for the pocket whether it's any good for for her really i'll see if i can do a revisit on this at some point i reckon just to see how it turns out over time what I'll do is I will just grab a ruler just to give you a quick measurement. So you're looking at four point four and a half centimeters, I would say, for the cutting edge, and then overall you're looking at eleven point. Just under an 11 and a half, so 11.3, I would say. 11.3 full open. And I'll just have a quick check. Just see if we can uh, pop a few hairs. Oh, yeah, that's uh, definitely shaving sharp. I'm barely even touching that. Look at that. So yeah most definitely shaving sharp and that's why i love vg10 such a good steel love it and i'll just grab whilst we're here a precise comparison i know it's a little large i think i had a smaller one with me as well yeah here's another one 
So this is Smith and Western. Smith and Wesson, sorry. As you can see, that is the size wise. So yeah, overall, I think it is. I think it's a little expensive for the money. I would have probably liked to have paid around about. I think I'd pay 40 quid, 45 maybe. I know it's only a little bit less, but with the with the defects on it, I think I just don't think it's reached its potential asking point for quality wise anyway. Still, not an absolute problem with the steel. It's just that hole in there that's very grippy. I mean, obviously, you've got the jimping there, which is very grippy as well. But, yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.